Oh, dang. I, I poked one with my... That was, that's, I saw that. <laughs> he like, liter I literally poked him with my stick. <laughs> I'm riding a swell going in. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the next swell. Come on, baby. Look, we're, I know we're beached. <laughs> here we go. If we don't make it through this one, y'all, well, we're going to have to get out and push. Come on, pick up the kayak. Pick up the kayak. Come on, there we go. There we go. There's a little bit more water. Come on, let's get through. There we go. And we made it. <laughs> this little chicken. He had us a small, undersized red, y'all. Try to hurry up and get him inside the boat. Literally just gave himself up right there. Oh, it just does not get old chasing these guys down, doing the sight cast stuff. Small finesse lure, it's super quiet. There's really no surface noise on the water, so you you just got to be finesse. All right, let's get the forceps, and uh, we'll get this out of his mouth. And we'll send the little fellow on his way. Thank you, buddy. That's a good 18-incher. Oh, my gosh. He done, like, spooked everything else. There goes another one right there, but that dude had to hit the kayak. I knew he got spooked down that way. Oh man, it feels so good catching these little guys. And they are energized. And we've got a very cool early morning, two fish back to back. Cookie cutter size, probably 18. That's what I'm gonna guess. Get in here, get in here, get in here. I don't need you to make all that noise. This guy is gonna be a 20 incher, y'all. He looked like an 18, but he's going to be 20. Whoa, buddy. Another one inside there. This place is spectacular. i throw a huge shout out to my boy, Tim Weirdfish, because uh, he's the one who invited me. Come on, man. I wanted to measure our fish, see what size he is. I need to hurry up and get this paddle. Oh gosh, no. He just looks like he's a 20. But no, 18. I was right. <laughs> Don't ever second guess yourself. There we go. Two of them. Oh, wow. Get a mud boil right over there. Nice. It's so awesome. I'm so glad that I decided to stand up. The sun came out and it allows me to see the mud boils that these reds are making. Let's stake ourselves out. Don't want to go any further and spook anything else that may be out here. Nice keeper. Who would have known? Inside the back lake, instead of inside the, uh, the ditches and stuff like that. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Get over here! <laughs> oh my gosh! Dude, just get inside the net, 
buddy. Goodness gracious. This guy has got some great, spectacular color to him. <laughs> Son, you tried your best, but your best wasn't good enough. Yeah, that is a gorgeous looking redfish, y'all. That is, that is just perfect. There we go. We have to tie that back on, but nice red. We'll see you later, fella. I know he's over here somewhere. Until that tail pops up, I'm just gonna like fan cast the entire area. <laughs> Second cast. I knew he was over here. <laughs> my gosh you probably aren't the fella but if you are i got you fool <laughs> oh my gosh gorgeous looking redfish right there good hook set too right through the bottom of the mouth and uh, the paddle tail does it we're slick forming right over here y'all i decided to take a power break That's the last of my uh, power bar. But we're gonna cast over here. The way you're gonna work a slick, when you see it, you got the wind coming from this direction, so it's moving like that. You wanna work the, the side that the wind is blowing from because when the fish oil from the bait comes up, the wind starts blowing it and pushing it that way. So working that side, would do you no good. You wanna go and work where the oil is coming up. But right over here, we're about to start casting on this thing right here. Let's throw our trash away, put our thermos up. See if I can reach it. That's like right. <clears throat> yeah, I reached it. Went straight across. Oh, got him. What'd I tell you? My gosh, dude just crushed it. I think he's a keeper too. The way he's, oh my gosh. Snap my line. Lots of oyster. Lots of oyster in here, y'all. There's so much oyster, it's ridiculous. All right, let's reel this in and we're gonna retie a, uh, a leader. If he took my leader, I don't know. We gotta see what he did to us. <laughs> he did his wrong. Yeah, he took my leader. The oyster sliced right through my braid. Look at that. No, actually, it sliced. Oh my gosh, it's, there's, so, yeah, he definitely took us into some oyster. I should have stood up, made the line angle downwards. Oh, that kills me. All right, well, anyhow, that's the way you would work an oil slick. You know somebody's there in the area. And uh, yeah, well, let's uh, try that again, if we can. Yeah, there he is. I saw the bait going airborne. It is, uh, the last time I hooked one, I saw the uh, oil slick and I hooked into it. Dude, cut me off on the oyster. Yeah, he's gonna be a good one. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Oh yeah. About 23, 23, 24. Oh yeah. That's my second keeper, man, believe it or not. Definitely 23. 
mouthful of skelly. What you got to say for yourself, boo? There we go. We're gonna. <laughs> Look at him. That is a nice one. About 22, 23 is what I'm gonna estimate him being. We'll see you later. I've got two reds, four triple tail, and <laughs> I mean, right there, another mud boil. It's so insane. Let's go see if we can catch that one, y'all. Got him, finally. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker. It's about a 12, 12 or 13 inch flounder, y'all. There we go. All right, buddy. <laughs> Crazy. This flat bug, this flats bug. Oh, look at that. It's, I was gonna say it's seen better days. I think I'm gonna go ahead and retire that fella. Oh, dang. I, I poked one with my... <laughs> he like literally, I literally poked him with my stick. <laughs> Got him. It's a little guy. I don't know. Yeah, it's a little guy. All right, y'all. So right as we caught that fish, the battery decides to take a poop on us, and here we go. Nice little 17, 18 inch or somewhere around there. Always a joy to catch these guys. And uh, I'm sorry, buddy. There we go. Let's get it out. There you go. Spit it out. He's been inside the water for quite some time. That's about 18 for sure, y'all. Ain't no sense in taking any photos or anything like that because uh, <laughs> he's all discombobulated. He's like, uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I've already taken so many photos today. Lots of undersized reds, but the uh, keepers are out here. They're just mixed in between. If you get lucky enough to see one, which basically what we're doing, just uh, sight casting to all the disturbances on water, just like that over there. The GoPro's not going to pick that up, but I mean, there's blow up after blow up. Tim, weird fish. That's my buddy. Shout out to him for uh, bringing me to his spot. Sorry, everybody, if you don't know where this is at, well, you know, uh, you know what you know. But uh, yeah, this is a spectacular area. We're just casting at blow-ups, casting at mud boils, and uh, the reds, they're just, they're pulverizing it. I just pulled it out of his mouth. Um, yeah, they're crushing it, y'all. Uh, that was, okay, I'm gonna go catch that flounder real fast. I can make it over there to where he's at. It looks like a redfish, man. No, well, there's a flounder there too, but there's a red as well crawling. Come on, I know you should see it. Got him. Got him. <sighs> this guy was like, he gave himself up, literally pu pulled himself out of the water, right up against that grass line. Buddy, hush. Hush, man. There's a flounder over there that I'm trying to chase after too. They're all cookie cutter, but 
man oh man this is an amazing day when you can just do nothing but catching over and over fall fishing at its finest in the state of texas we'll see you later mr red all righty sometimes you gotta go through all that oyster in order to get to the fish and you gotta put your kayak through the cheese grater i have had a phenomenal day y'all i mean this was crazy seeing the amount of blow-ups that we saw, literally hundreds, flounder going airborne, reds going airborne. I know you're probably tired of hearing me say it. I think I've only said it twice that I've captured on film though, but um, yeah, no doubt. Fall fishing is here. We had a cold front blow through. We were in the high 60s early this morning and uh, it's still cool right now. We've got like gale force winds hitting us. And uh, right now we're just gonna do an easy drift to get to the mouth of the back lake that we decided to fish today and that's it we're gonna call it quits head on out of here i don't know how many fish i caught it's been a lot and uh, i don't even know how you fit that many fish in a video to where it's not gonna be monotonous and it's like oh catch a fish release it oh catch a fish release it so we'll pick and choose it's a good thing like it's a good problem to have when you get to pick and choose the catches that you actually want to show on film so a lot of the little undersized fellas, we may do a montage, I don't know. But uh, what I do know is this day is done. So thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's video, please, by all means, click that thumbs up button. For those of you that have been behind the scenes and you don't wanna subscribe, do me a favor, click that subscribe button, it helps me out, it helps me because YouTube will find other viewers that are just like yourselves. And when you subscribe and watch the videos, then YouTube is gonna find those others and that's just gonna help me out. So thank you so much again for watching and until next time, tight lines, y'all.